What's going on guys? Ed here back with some more fitness related content and nonsense for you. Today we got a good topic. We're talking about bad man shit. How to inject with the good stuff. Before we get into it, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, share this shit with a friend. This is good information. We gotta get it out there to the world, alright? Well, for my guys who are serious gym goers, um... When you step up into the big leagues and you're doing the big boy stuff, whether it's TRT or you're going with a full-blown steroid cycle, how do you do it safely? Because you'll see guys start going crazy with this shit and start shooting gear into their biceps and their pecs and their lats and everywhere that they can think to put it in a muscle, they do. But what's kind of the best way to go about it to avoid harm, injury, um, and like kind of the safest, most painless way to do it. Let's talk about it. So obviously, um, the two main sites that I like personally and most other guys like as well are going to be your butt and your shoulders. You go to the doctor's office, usually they give you a shot in the shoulder. That's kind of the spot to go to. So, I mean, that's a good one. We're going to talk about that. We're not going to go in-depth on exactly the process, step-by-step, -step, how to do it. This is just uh, more of where the best sites are. If you guys want a more in-depth video on the exact how to actually do it, I can do that. Just let me know. Um, but, yeah, today we're talking about my three favorite locations to put your... TRT, steroid cycle, medication, whatever you're doing. Whatever it is that you're doing. And that is either a dorso glute injection, a ventro glute injection, or a deltoid injection. So, I mean, obviously the deltoid, you go to the doctors, they give you a shot in the shoulder. That one's not too hard to figure out. I mean, your delts are a pretty big area. You don't want to do it at the top. You don't want to do it at the bottom on the sides. You want to do it in the middle here where the real meaty part of your your delt is. Boom, pop it in, take it out. You, you really won't feel it. Um, for the delts, I actually use a very small one. I use a half inch 27 gauge, whereas in my glutes, I'll use a one inch 25 gauge. So still pretty thin. Um, the higher the gauge, the thinner it is. So 25 is going to be a little bit thicker than a 27. Um, and obviously one inch is going to be a lot longer than a half inch. I got um, some little examples here if you just want to see. I don't know if you can see, but this would be a 23 gauge one inch. That's what I use to draw it out of the, the bottle. And I'll inject it with a 25 one inch, but that's just a 23 for, for reference, one inch. Here's a 27 gauge, half inch, if you can see that. Uh, let me try and focus in here. I can't get a good shot. They're very small though. Can you see that? Much, much smaller than, you can barely even see it. That's how small it is compared to, to that one. So this one, a big old harpoon honker, one inch, 23 gauge, and that's a 27 half inch. So 27 half inch, you barely even know it's in you. You don't even really feel it. Just boom. Um, when I do my glutes, I do a ventro glute or a dorso glute. Um, the ventro glute injection, I believe, is the gluteus medius. And the dorso glute is the gluteus maximus muscle. So where are they on your body? Well, your ventro glute, I'm going to show you right here, is kind of your hip. It's not really like your butt, butt like you would think. It's right on your hip. And there's a muscle here. It's kind of like your hip muscle. And you can actually feel the difference where this muscle ends right about there. That's where my butt, my uh, gluteus maximus starts. So you do a ventro glute or a dorso glute. Your ventro glute's going to be in the gluteus medius. That's this hip muscle. You just kind of relax it, boom, stick it in, and you do your thing, and then you're good to go. The gluteus maximus for your dorsal glute injection is going to be your big butt muscle. But you want to do it in the outer part and the upper part because you want to avoid the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve, if you hit that, you're going to have a bad day. So think about splitting your butt cheek into four quadrants. You want to do the highest quadrant and the one that's on the outside. Alright, so that's where you do your 
dorsal glute injection in the gluteus maximus muscle, and then the ventro glute goes in the gluteus medius muscle. All pretty painless. Um, might feel a little like poke uh, when you're going in, but once you're in, you're fine. Nothing to worry about. A lot of guys like to do the quad. The quad muscle I avoid. I've never even tried it because there's a lot of nerves and shit that you can hit, and I've just heard the quads are like a pain in the ass. Like there's many ways to screw it up and either hit a nerve or something or you, you get um, there's real bad pain from it. So I avoid that. Um, I usually like to switch sites around. So I'll go from like ventro glute, ventro glute, dorso, dorso, maybe shoulder, shoulder. That way you're not hitting the same spot every single time. When you rotate it, you build up less scar tissue. Bada bing, bada boom. Keep it like that. Um, I mean, then there is the whole argument of whether you want to do subcutaneous in the fat or intramuscular. I do intramuscular. Maybe sometime in the future I'll try sub-Q and see if it changes anything, see if I like it better. But with sub-Q shots, I mean, most people say don't really go over more than like a, a half a milliliter at a time. Those you got to do every day. It's very tedious. You got to backfill little tiny insulin syringes and do them every single day. Who wants to do that? I do intramuscular for now because that's all I've done. I haven't tried sub-Q root yet, but maybe one day I will. I mean, intramuscular, you can do a lot more volume. In the delts, it's obviously size dependent on the muscle. So I mean, one to maybe two milliliters max in a delt, you can get away with two to three milliliters in your glute, whether it's ventro or dorso. So you can get a little bit more volume in your glute. But hey, there's some information for you. Those are my three spots that I like to put the sauce in. You can pick any spot you want, but just for the most pain-free, kind of easiest, um, you know, like the hardest to screw up methods, really. Uh, you don't want to be hitting nerves and veins and arteries and, and all that shit, because you're going to have a bad day. So always kind of aspirate when you go into, like I said, this isn't the how-to video. This is more of just the where-to. Um, but once you put it in, draw back on that plunger a little bit. And if you get a bubble, you know you're in a muscle. If you get blood in there, you nick the vein or an artery or something, do a different spot, take it out, get, throw that one away. That one's trash. Um, so yeah, those are my three spots. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Like I said, if you want more of an in-depth on how to, I can do that. But yeah. There are the spots. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, I'm trying to keep this content short and sweet as possible. Give you the information that you need without overloading you. So, thank you for watching. Share this shit with your friends. Let me know if you got any questions, comments, concerns, um, or experience. Share your experiences with everybody so we can all learn together. Alright, that's all I got for you. Bye-bye. Ed out.